Right now at 10, an investigation into the death of a man outside a Jackson County Gentleman's Club is ongoing. The sheriff's office says it needs to hear from any and all witnesses who were at the club late last month. And the DNR says it has found out how a fire that burned over 800 acres started in central Wisconsin. Plus, country boom prep. The stage is getting set up in West Salem for the three-day country music festival. Watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozlarowski. The Jackson County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in an ongoing death investigation in the town of Alma. Last week, the Sheriff's Office identified the man found dead in a car outside the Jimmy's In-Between Gentlemen's Club as 55-year-old Andrew Frechette. Frechette's death is considered suspicious, and the Sheriff's Office is asking anyone who was at the club any time from June 29th to 30th to speak with the office. They ask that you call them at the number on your screen, even if you don't think you saw anything significant. Now, if police can't ID every witness at the club during those days, they may start posting surveillance photos and ask for the public for help that way. You can also call the Jackson County Crime Stoppers if you were in that area. We will have that contact info on our website. Wisconsin's confidential school threat reporting system can now receive tips via text. The Speak Up, Speak Out service in the Office of School Safety now allows users to report something concerning in schools by texting SUSO to 738477. And the state's DOJ says this will make it even easier for people to report something. The statewide Speak Up, Speak Out service launched in 2020 and has received more than 7,000 tips. A heads up for drivers on the south side of La Crosse to be extra alert around train crossings. A viewer sent us this video tonight at the train crossing on South Ave by Green Bay Street. A train clearly on its way through, but the level crossing signal devices are not lowering at the gates and there are no flashing lights that you can see. Now, just last month, an MTU bus hit a train at a crossing on Ward Avenue in La Crosse, and the bus driver told police they didn't hear any alarms or train horns. We'll be following up with area officials tomorrow, but in the meantime, be sure there's no train coming if you're approaching a train crossing. The DNR has identified the cause and person behind more than 800 acre wildfire in central Wisconsin. Officials with the DNR now say burning debris caused the wildfire in Washera County. They say the debris burning happened before Monday, but the burn pile reignited Monday afternoon around 1. The ensuing wildfire took about eight hours to be almost fully contained. The burned acre estimates had varied widely since the initial fire reports. Today, the DNR confirmed the fire at its peak grew to 830 acres. Officials say gusty winds made the fire erratic and the blaze destroyed several buildings along Cumberland Avenue. Fire danger remains high in the area and crews are still on scene protecting other businesses. Officials have also identified the person who burned the debris. That person will be sent the bill for the damage. Dairyland Power Cooperative is applying for a DNR permit to dump dredge sand at its decommissioned Genoa plant. Dairyland decommissioned the coal plant back in 2021 and is now preparing the site for potential reuse. They want DNR permission to take the filtered sand that the Army Corps of Engineers regularly removes from the Mississippi River's Pool 9. Dairyland will be using it, if approved, to fill in low-lying areas of the Genoa site. As we go through the decommissioning and dismantlement of our retired coal power plant site, now, they also plan to cover the dump areas with clean concrete, gravel, roads, or topsoil and vegetation. Dairyland says an outside lab tested the Army Corps of Engineers dredged sand and found the samples don't pose a risk to human or environment health. The DNR is welcoming public comment on Dairyland's application through July 18th. We'll have more info on our website. Well, it sure was a much cooler day today across the area as we had a cold front move through last night and that brought us some cooler weather conditions to work with here for us today. Let's get checked on your zone forecast to see what it looks like tonight and you can see we'll be into the upper 50s to low 60s in La Crosse County with a chance of showers. A few showers are possible across our southern communities as well with lows into the 50s and low 60s. As we head into our central zones, we're looking at low tonight into uh, the mid to upper 50s. Uh, some spots could reach 60 degrees though, like Winona as we head into the Chippewa Valley. Less 
less chances of rain up here tonight, but low temperatures mainly into the mid to upper 50s with 58 tonight expected in Eau Claire. A check on your 8 to 8 forecast uh, showing that we will be looking at increasing cloud cover throughout the night and also a chance of showers, especially by overnight tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Something that we'll be watching carefully here for you as it could affect your morning commute. Uh, stay tuned. I'll have a check on your full weather forecast coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. Thanks, Derek. La Crosse area attorney and former judge Candace Tillestash announced she will run for La Crosse County Circuit Court judge in 2024. Tillestash previously served as La Crosse County Branch 5 Circuit Court judge back in 2015. She's now running for Branch 3, which is currently held by Judge Todd Bjerke. Bjerke is retiring at the end of this month. Last week, Governor Tony Evers appointed Mark Huseman to finish out Bjerke's term. Large-scale child care program funding didn't make it out of this year's state budget discussions in Wisconsin, but some child care resources are on the way to La Crosse. Federal ARPA dollars are enabling a $500,000 grant program open to all caregivers certified or licensed in La Crosse County. Now, details on the application period are not out yet, but organizers, organizations will have about a month to apply for a maximum grant of $25,000. According to a UW Extension presentation, the grants are supposed to help providers with capital improvement projects to improve their business models or increase what they can offer their clients. They're not going to be used for operating expenses, salaries, or benefits. And child care is a federal concern as well these days. The Biden administration is proposing some options to try and make child care more affordable. The proposal stems from an executive order President Biden signed in April. It would make changes to the federal child care and development block grant program. Child care co-pays would be capped at no more than 7% of a family's income, and it would encourage states to waive co-pays for families at or below 150% of the poverty level. The goal is to make it easier for families to apply for aid. It would also help child care providers by ensuring they are paid when services are provided instead of weeks later. The signed state budget leaves Wisconsin with about a $4 billion surplus. That's according to the Wisconsin Policy Forum. The state started the latest budget cycle with a $7 billion surplus. Governor Evers rejected the large scope of the Republican income tax proposal of $3.5 billion, arguing it gave more tax relief to wealthy residents than true middle class residents. The legislature is unlikely to try and override Evers' budget vetoes because they don't have a supermajority in the state assembly. Milwaukee's Common Council has approved a 2% local sales tax increase to avoid a 2025 financial crisis. The sales tax is part of a bipartisan agreement between Republican lawmakers and Governor Evers. The city was allowed the chance to approve a sales tax without a referendum in exchange for the budget to include money for the private voucher school system. Coming up, a presidential hopeful in Wisconsin. A political science expert details what a private fundraiser signals for next year's GOP race. We're busy. <laughs> I get it. So Stanton Optical works with your schedule. Buy online, pick up in-store, same day, and get a free fitting. I mean, look at my to-do list. Skip the wait. Get your kids' glasses made the same day, only at Stanton Optical. Where there's a flooded basement, there's a solution. Where there are wet spots or musty smells, there's an answer. Where wood damage or dry rot is stealing home value, there's an expert. American Waterworks. For wet basements, wood damage, and effects of dry rot, American Waterworks professional crack repair, waterproofing, sump pumps, and vapor barriers provide long-lasting solutions to tough problems. Wherever moisture problems surface, there's an answer. American Waterworks. Schedule your free inspection and estimate today. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order, scooped to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One to always serve with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the at Stanton Optical, you get great value on eye care, including contacts. Right now, get a one-year supply of AccuView Oasis and an eye exam for only $189. Scan now to book your eye exam. Yay, technology! The presidential race landed in Wisconsin today with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis holding a private fundraiser in Lake Geneva in the southeast part of the state. Political reporter Will Keneally has more.
I think at this point, the DeSantis campaign just wants some good news. UW lacrosse political scientist Anthony Tregoski says today's trip to Wisconsin could be to build momentum for the DeSantis campaign. The, the backers of Ron DeSantis have in many ways been quite open about the struggles of the candidacy, have been quite open about the lack of momentum for Ron DeSantis. Tregoski points to the Florida governor's numbers nationally. He's in second place behind former President Donald Trump, but close enough to the rest of the pack that he could fall to third place. Compare that to Wisconsin. DeSantis and Trump are neck and neck here, according to the latest Marquette poll, with DeSantis even beating Trump in a head-to-head -head matchup. A visit to Wisconsin is well worth Ron DeSantis's time at this point because he just needs to refocus his campaign. He needs to reset his campaign. Part of that could also be about money, with DeSantis meeting today with powerful GOP donors like Richard and Liz Uline. The couple gave a combined half million dollars to the Florida governor last year. So why are we seeing DeSantis in the state and not many of the other candidates? Many appeared at this year's state Republican Party convention via video message. Wisconsin has a minor role at best in the party nomination process in picking the nominee for the political parties for president. That's because Wisconsin votes in April, while many of the other states have their primaries earlier. Wisconsin's importance comes later. Wisconsin is extraordinarily important in the Electoral College. Wisconsin is perhaps the most important state in the general election. And this is all ahead of the Republican presidential primary debate in Milwaukee next month, the same site for next year's Republican National Convention. Coming up, a mouth-watering list. The Wisconsin State Fair will have more than 100 new offerings next month, and I got three words for you. Apple pie fries. Well, not only did the cold front that moved through last night give us thunderstorms, but behind it, we also saw some cooler temperatures today. I'll have a detailed look on your full weather forecast. I'll let you know if more rain chances could be on the way. All that and more coming up after the break. Stay tuned. Are you looking for ways to manage your money wherever life takes you? Ultra's online and mobile banking is where it's at. We make managing your accounts on any device easy and secure. So go ahead, transfer funds, send money, deposit checks, or pay bills. All on your schedule, anytime, anywhere. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what our members say. Take the next step and download the Ultra Mobile app from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Ultra Federal Credit Union, helping you live your best life. For over 40 years, LaCrosse Glass and Overhead Door has been the go-to company for anything glass and door. We offer a large stock inventory of CEHI garage doors to help you find the perfect fit. As a locally owned business, we take pride in our work and always get the job done. From commercial glass and glazing to residential glass and CEHI garage doors, we have the experience and expertise to help you. Call or visit our website today to bring generations together. Start by splashing together. Maybe go on a ride together. See stuff together. Or do something different all together. Spend the day together. Spend the whole week together. Call it a get-together. Put this thing, those things, and that thing together. Hey, this vacation is really coming together. You know what they say, a family that plays together. Well, you could put two and two together. Wisconsin Dells, come together. Go to wisdells.com and start planning your trip to the water park capital of the world today. Attention, Wisconsin veterans. I'm Tony Evers, the governor of Wisconsin. If you are a veteran struggling to pay for rent, utilities, or other life-sustaining services, I want you to know that the Veterans Rental Assistance Program is here to help. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. You have already made a most noble sacrifice. You shouldn't have to continue doing so. We are here to support you. With pride in the way, it's never easy to ask for assistance, but rest assured, we are here to help. The VRAP team is standing by to help. So call 833-WISVRAP or visit VRAPWI.com. You've always been there for us. We want you to know that we're here for you. On behalf of the state of Wisconsin, thank you. Join LaCrosse's number one remodeler. Good pay and benefits. No weekends. $2,000 sign-on bonus. Work with the best. The Board Store Home Improvements. Apply online or in person.
Wisconsin's major summer concert series packed the city of Milwaukee this year. Summerfest organizers say this year's three weekend model saw a 40% increase in attendance compared to last year. The fest also gave out more than 50,000 free tickets and provided over 27,000 pounds of food donations for the Hunger Task Force. Next year's music festival will launch its first weekend on June 20th. Next month's Wisconsin State Fair will have more than 100 new food options to conquer your taste buds. Among the new menu items are alligator ribs, apple pie fries, sign me up, beer cheese Wisconsin lava cake, and pizza lumpia. The 11-day fair kicks off August 3rd and runs through August 13th. And you can try several new tasty dishes at the Great Minnesota Get Together next month. The State Fair today announced more than 30 new options like fruity cereal milk biscuits and loaded lobster fries. Now some are new foods from old vendors, but as Caroline Cummings found, there are also some newbies excited to have their first shot at serving fair food. At the end of next month, the doors will open to the Minnesota State Fair, bringing with it a food frenzy. I got, I got a bunch. Fair officials dished out the new options Tuesday. Cheesecake curds, lutefisk steamed buns, and even dill pickle lemonade. But this year, Twin Cities restaurant Afro Deli will get the chance to serve up its own experience as one of the seven new vendors at the biggest event in Minnesota. It's a... It's a prime location, it's a prime, you know, event for the state of Minnesota, so we want to be part of that. Founder and CEO Abdraman Kain says he's waited for years for the opportunity to take his African cuisine to the State Fair stage. State Fair, it's uh, something that, as you know, as an entrepreneur, as a restaurateur, it's something that you dream to be there. On the menu, their signature sambusa, a pastry with chicken, beef, or veggie filling. You'll find them in the food building, and the prep has already begun. Kahin hopes it will be a culinary introduction for thousands of new faces. That representation of uh, bringing food from Africa matters a, a lot to, to us. And that's the reason we have four restaurants in the 20 cities. So we know we have, we're missing like a big segment of the community. And going to the State Fair, we're going to reach a lot more people. I am hungry already. In the meantime, McDonald's is scrapping baked goods from its menu less than three years after their debut. The McCafe bakery lineup consists of apple fritters, blueberry muffins, and cinnamon rolls. The company says the lineup will be phased out beginning this month. The fast food giant rolled out the bakery lineup in October of 2020 when the chain was struggling against new competitors and adjusting to customers working from home can say I never had any three of those items. And NFL brothers JJ and TJ Watt have snagged a coveted honor in sports history. They're being featured on the front of the Wheaties cereal box. They're the first brothers ever to appear on the Wheaties box together. They're also the first pair of athletes to grace the box at the same time since 1935. The limited edition box will be on store shelves nationwide this month. There was a much cooler day today behind that cold front that moved through last night. As a result, our highs this afternoon were into those upper 70s to low 80s. Now, for tonight, our temperatures will be dropping into the upper 50s and low 60s in La Crosse County with a chance of seeing a few light showers here as well. Chances of showers down to the south uh, for our southern communities with temperatures into the 50s and 60s. Stoddard, you're looking at a low tonight of 60. And Viroqua, you'll be at around 59 tonight. Now, meanwhile, back into the central zones we go. We're looking at mid 50s here for many spots. 52 in Black River Falls and 55 in Melrose. Less chances of seeing some showers the further north you are in the Chippewa Valley. You're looking a little bit drier uh, with partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures in the 50s tonight. 58 here for you in Eau Claire tonight. Now the forecast overall 61 degrees uh, turning cloudy. Some showers here are possible as well as we mentioned before. Uh, wind speeds looking light and variable. Heading into the day tomorrow, highs reach around 80 degrees. Isolated thunderstorms are also possible. Otherwise, you can expect mostly or partly to mostly cloudy skies with a light east to southeast wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. As far as the zone forecast goes tomorrow, upper uh, 70s to low 80s with a few chances of thunderstorms across 
or central and of course down to our southern communities as well. You're looking at a high of 75 if you're in Westby tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, across our central zones, we're looking at 77 Black River Falls and 77 in Blair with a few showers around here. And as we head into the northern zones, looking a little bit drier, highs into the upper 70s, mixed clouds and sun, 78 here tomorrow afternoon for Eau Claire as well. So that cold front is now positioned to the south. I'm watching this next weak disturbance moving in from the west. That is helping to create the increase in cloud cover along with a few showers here possible as we head into overnight into early tomorrow morning. Fast forwarding into tomorrow morning around 10 o'clock, most of the rain should be positioned well to our south and east. However, at the same time, I'm watching this next disturbance coming in from the northwest, and that could cause a few showers here and thunderstorms to work with as we head into portions of the area for tomorrow afternoon into the evening. Otherwise, just expect that mixed clouds and sun. Heading into early Thursday morning, we're going to be looking at those clouds kind of lingering around. Slight chance of a shower or two is also possible. The cloudy weather will probably hang in place here as we head into Thursday morning here too. Another yet disturbance kind of moves in from the west there as you can see providing showers and thunderstorms for mainly our western communities and then moving east here as we head into Thursday night. So this is why we still have some rain chances for us to work with on the eight day forecast as we head into uh, the next few days tomorrow through Friday with uh, better chances here it looks like for Friday with our next storm system moving in. Saturday we seem to get a break in the rain activity and then Sunday another slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm. As we head into the first half of the next work week ahead, we're looking at mixed clouds and sun, highs into the 80s mainly, lows into the 50s and 60s. Back to you. Derek, thanks very much. Coming up next in sports, the best of the best take the field for the MLB All-Star Game. And some of our own area ball players taking the field for some Legion action. Cade's got the highlights next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or specialty care, Mayo Clinic Health System offers the best options for care where and when you and your family needs it. Contact North Central Paving to make your life smoother. Stop in now at our biggest sale of the summer at Interior Designs in Holman. All our carpets are on sale so you'll save money and get more for free. Free measuring and estimating at your home. Free furniture moving, even that heavy couch and king size bed. Free removal of your old carpet and padding and we'll recycle it. Free life of carpet labor warranty for as long as you own the carpet. All at the lowest prices of the year and 12 months no interest financing. Save money and get more for free during the biggest carpet sale of the year going on now at Interior Designs Holman. When the unexpected happens, we take every step to get your lights back on quickly. At Excel Energy, we also take it personally. Because your power is our power. Our employees. Your neighbors. It's why we maintain, repair, and protect the grid. So we can provide what's important to you and to us. Resilient, reliable energy. It's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. I think what makes our show unique is perspective. Many different voices, many different points of view. If you're going to say don't ask me, we're going to ask you. <laughs> if you want to. Wow. We are just the family sitting around the table in the morning. Very dynamic individuals, though. Yeah! Yeah! Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mixed Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. Contact North Central Paving to make your life smoother. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now Sports. Welcome to News 8 Now Sports. I'm Kate Overton. The Legion baseball regular season is winding down, but the action is not. Teams are getting in the last games of the season so that they're ready to make a deep postseason run next week. And with that, we go out to West Salem as Post 51 is taking on Lacrosse Post 52. Lacrosse up three in the third. Wes Barnhart hits one into the infield. Second baseman knocks it down, but a run comes in to score. Post 52 makes it 4-0. Later in the game, two men on for Barnhart, and this time he sends one to left field, and it's trouble. Just does stay fair. 
Casey Erickson comes in to score lacrosse up big. West Salem trying to make a comeback. Leadoff batter Chris Calico crushes this pitch into right center. That gets to the wall. Calico has some wheels. He's in with the leadoff triple. Very next batter and Jacob Hel Hel Helgeson is going to hit it into the exact same spot. That gets to the fence. Calico scores. And he's in with an RBI triple, but Pierce Nelson would escape the inning as lacrosse would win game two 10 to one. They also took the first game 11 to zero. All right, I'll get to the all-star highlights in a moment, but tonight gave a couple of old Milwaukee teammates a chance to team up once again. Of course, Corbin Burns made his third all-star team along with his Brewers teammate Devin William, who made his second. Those two got the chance to team up with their old teammate Josh Hader, who's making his fifth all-star roster, this time for the Padres. Of course, Hader used to be Milwaukee's closer before being traded last August. Since then, Williams has taken over the duties, but it's not too long ago that Hader and Williams were a dynamic one-two punch out of the bullpen. And even though he's not on the same team, Hader is still a big fan of the progress Williams has made. I think that's the biggest thing is, uh, you know, being able to share that bullpen with him and being able to uh, kind of just watch him grow as a, as a pitcher. You know, I think one of the biggest things with him obviously has the airbender, which is one of the better changes I've ever really called and seen. It's just been fun to watch him kind of grow as a player. Williams took himself off the active roster and chose not to pitch tonight, giving him a little bit of rest. But there were a ton of other superstars out there tonight putting on a show. We had a scoreless game in the second, but Tampa Bay's Yandy Diaz gets all of this one. He hits a solo home run over the left field wall. That puts the American League on top. National League would come back, runner on second for former twin Luis Urias, and he singles into right field. J.D. Martinez scores. We're all even. American League back on top, but Colorado's Elias Diaz at 32 years old and in his first All-Star game, Crushes a two run home run that gives the National League the lead. This one was three to two in the bottom of the ninth right before I walked in here. We'll get an update on that in a second. But we're about 58 days away from the start of the NFL season. It will be here before we know it. But if you can't wait until then, you might be interested in Netflix's new NFL docu series quarterback over the 2022 season. NFL films and Omaha production followed three quarterbacks around to capture what it takes to succeed in the NFL. Vikings fans and maybe some Packer fans might be interested in the series because one of the quarterbacks it features is Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins. The series gives fans an inside look at the players lives on and off the field. It has special moments with their families and friends. It really takes you behind the scenes on what it takes to have one of the toughest jobs in all professional sports. The other two quarterbacks it features Marcus Mariota and Patrick Mahomes during last year's Super Bowl run. All right, Bucks Summer League action. Taco Fall on the roster and check him out here. Gets the offensive rebound, fights through the defense, and slams it down with some authority. Bucks draft picks looked good. Andrew, Andre Jackson Jr. knocking down the three ball. And then in transition, Marjan Bochamp throwing the lob down to Jackson Jr. Milwaukee played 19 different guys tonight as they would fall 92 to 71. All right, Wimbledon quarterfinals. Novak Djokovic looked good in yesterday's match, lost the first set today then he would come back and won three straight sets. He'll be moving on to the semifinals. And on the women's side, Igas Fiontek looking to claim her first Wimbledon title, but runs into Alina Sviatolina, and who takes her down in three sets. A huge upset on the women's side of the bracket. Now, I'm joined with Ken. Do we have an update on that All-Star game? We do. Craig Kimball just struck out Jose Ramirez. He had walked Julio Rodriguez and then struck out Ramirez. All right, all right. So National League wins. That breaks yep. a nine-year losing streak. Can you name the one Brewer that was on the team last time they won in 2012? <laughs> Uh, guess Ryan Braun? Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. there was Ryan Braun. I mean, <laughs> that's a softball. Kate Overton, thanks very much. We got more news after this. By Goff and Rody, you don't just get a lawyer. You get the experience and power of our entire team of lawyers, paralegals, legal assistants, and researchers. By Goff and Rody, your personal injury law firm for over 50 years. Founded on hard work, dedication, respect, and integrity, we at Maxwell White understand the importance of home comfort. Maxwell White strives to provide our customers with a positive experience every time. Maxwell White. Plumbing done right.
Get 11% off everything at Menards and elevate the look of your home. We carry the largest selection of Hunter ceiling fans, available in a huge variety of designs, finishes, and features. Ceiling fans are perfect for adding light, comfort, and style to any room, while helping you save on energy bills year-round. Get the LED Allendale ceiling fan for just $99.99 after 11% rebate. Visit Menards today and receive 11% off all ceiling fans. Save big money at Menards. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Try a toasted bagel sandwich and pair it with a $2 medium iced coffee. Now even bolder. So many hotels. <gasps> Trouble booking the family vacay? Come on. Comfort us free hot breakfast for the whole fam. They have waffles. And splendid pools. Book direct at choicehotels.com. The GMC Sierra with hands-free driving. Yeah, it rocks. Or did 0.9% APR plus over 1,200 trade assistance and no monthly payments for 90 days on Sierra 5.3 liter V8 light duty models. Sick of running out of hot water? The professionals at Maxwell White are here to handle all of your water heater needs. Our licensed technicians can install, repair, or replace any type of water heater with same day or next day service. Call Maxwell White. Plumbing done right. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. A July tradition that started back in 2018 is just a few days away from taking over Maple Grove venues. Country Boom kicks off its three-day country concert series Thursday in West Salem. The setup efforts started early this morning with a crew of about 20 putting in a 12-hour day to get the stage, VIP areas, food and drink tents tents all set up. Now Country Boom's co-founder says this is an event that local millennials have been able to call their own and make it a bit of a tradition. A lot of people have been here from the very beginning and they're in their early 30s so it's really cool to just inspire young people uh, to kind of get involved in the community and I think it's a, an absolutely economic uh, massive boost to the area. He's not kidding. Since launching in 2018 and of course the year off with the pandemic, Holt House says Country Boom stands to bring in about 26,000 people over the three-day event. If you're interested in ticket info and the lineups, we've got a link posted on our website. We'll be right back after this. At Marine Credit Union, we have great rates and an even better mission. With our new certificate and money market rates, you can grow your money and grow your community. Call or visit MarineCU.com to find a branch near you. Your home improvement company's new 30-day bath program can guarantee a complete bathroom transformation from order to installation in 30 days or less. Call today to get a free installation and zero interest, zero payments for a whopping 18 months. Our team of trained and certified professionals ensures your project is done right the first time. Schedule your consultation today and get your stunning new bathroom next month with free installation. No more long waits. Call or visit us online today. Your home improvement company where it's your home made better. Jerry here, and welcome to Stockman's in Osseo, Wisconsin, where we have so much more in our 60,000 square foot store. Boots, men's, women's, and children's clothing, grocery, fresh produce, health and beauty, pet supplies, toys, automotive, farm supply, beer, wine, and liquor, hardware, sporting goods, paint, plumbing and electrical, and so much more. Come take the Stockman's tour, and I'll be looking for you. Yep, yep, and that's 
30 years, Habitat for Humanity of the Greater La Crosse Region has brought people together to provide affordable housing opportunities and create a community where all feel they belong. Our team Habitat experts can help find a path to home ownership, build homes, make critical repairs, renew the environment, and reuse furniture, building materials, and more at the ReStore. Find out what Team Habitat can do for you. Visit HabitatLacrosse.org. At Marine Credit Union, we have great rates and an even better mission. Not only will you earn a higher return on your money, you're also helping our community. We provide loans to people who can't get them elsewhere and help families on the path to home ownership. Visit MarineCU.com to find a branch near you. Over the next few days, we'll keep a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms, but I think better chances, however, possibly on Friday, Saturday, a break in the rain and storm chances, Sunday, another slight chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Otherwise, high temperatures uh, mainly into the 80s, low temperatures mainly into the 60s. Back to you. Thanks, Derek. All right, lightning round. First of all, the Seattle-themed jerseys for the All-Star Game. Love, hate. I want them to go back to the, the team jerseys. Those ones were the best. Yeah, that is the most perfect answer. Yeah. And that's why Kate Overton is in our sports department <laughs> right there. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. We will see you tomorrow.